how many times a week do y'all do it? Do you guys use toys in the bedroom? Was your first time awkward? Favorite position? Most embarrassing moment sexually. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. What's good YouTube? It's your favorite couple, R and B. We are back with another video for you guys in a little bit of a different environment. Yeah, we're outside today, which we hope works out because we already set everything up. The dog next door started barking, so we hypnotized it with a dog, dog whistle. whistle. <laughs> and so far, it hasn't barked again. But if you hear the crackling, we have the fire going because it's like 50 degrees out or something. But we decided to come yeah. at you guys with a little bit different environment yeah. to switch it up. But before we get started, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button because you always want to be tuned in to when these two beautiful faces Record. Also, you guys, we're doing a giveaway for when we hit 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys enter that. All you have to do is subscribe here, follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, and then when you're all done with that, comment Team RB under this video. We about to be asking TMI questions y'all want to know about our relationship. Really get into the tea. We're going to really tell some, some secrets. So sit back, relax, get some popcorn, and enjoy this banger video. Let's. First question. We gonna answer this honestly. We gonna answer it honestly. Okay, honestly. What has been the most embarrassing moment sexually between you guys? I'm starting off strong. Strong. Let me think. I feel like I have bad memory, so when it comes to this kind of stuff, like if it was something embarrassing, usually that's like traumatizing for me, and I try and block it out of my memory. <laughs> I know I ain't never told you this. What? There was one time that I was down there and I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting there like, <gasps> no, <gasps> no. I was down there for so long and I'm like, bro, Stop I literally it. cannot breathe right now. Most Let embarrassing. Me think. I think it was maybe that one time we were in the car in, in the Dave and Buster's parking lot. Oh. Because I was like, already not really feeling good. And you know, I had to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why are you talking about? I just was already not feeling good and I was like, this is not happening. So I leaned out the door and I... Do you guys ever get tired of seeing each other all day, every day since you work together? No. It's crazy because we work together and we also do YouTube together. We met at work together. Mm-hmm. So that was our second job. Or our first job together and this is our second one. We moved in with each other like... <laughs> It was probably like three Super months, fast, three yeah. months into us knowing each other. It's been like since November, since like we've like known each other, but I've always been over here. And then yeah. like back in March, we moved in. But My parents always joke like he stayed the night on Christmas Eve and, and never, never left, left, which is so true. That was the first time he ever spent the night here, and he literally like never left. I I am like total believer in soulmates and soul ties, and there being somebody who is truly for you, and not to be corny. But I really do think you're that person for me because I would be tired of anybody else. Oh, thank you. I love this girl so much. Same though. Um, I don't think that I could ever get tired of her just because, I mean, she, she do be annoying sometimes. She same through, with you. She so don't think, her moments. don't think that's not true. She go through her moments. But I don't but get sick. I don't get sick. Yeah, I don't get sick. Yeah. Have you guys ever slept in different rooms after an argument? Yeah. Well, maybe not different rooms, but different sleeping arrangements. Like, I've slept on the couch when I was pissed at you before. You never slept no, on no, the no, couch. No, 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 no. This I've is what happened. I was so mad that I would go to sleep on the couch. I took my blanket and my pillow and my squishmallows and everything. And then he's like, you're not sleeping on the couch. And so I get up and go on the bed and he sleeps on the couch. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. I'm not letting her <laughs> sleep on the couch. But usually he just ends up coming back to the bed anyways. There's probably only been like two times that he's actually... Not nah, came back and, right. and slept well, on the couch. Well, I did that one night, sleep in the living room. I was so mad at you for getting so drunk. And oh, he was yeah. asleep on the floor, but I knew in the middle of the night he was going to get up and go to the bed. And I literally was so mad at him. I didn't want to be in the bed when he got in there, so I just slept <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, that's it. Have you guys ever slept naked together? Yeah, mainly when Reagan is lit because she takes off all her clothes and then she knocks right out. I mean, I, I, I mean, I sleep with drawers on and a shirt just because I don't like waking up butt naked. Yeah, me neither. It's, it's like more cold. like I can do just undies, but yeah. being butt naked is kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, no facts. It's not comfortable at all. Not for males nor females. Do you guys use the bathroom slash take poops together? Like use the bath, like take shits in front of each other. I mean, how do we take poops at the same time? Well, oh, no, okay. take shits in front of each other. Okay. Yeah. 
No. I got it. I'm sitting there concentrating, doing doing my thing. Did anything change after you guys started YouTube with your relationship? Oh yeah, I would say so. Yeah, we've definitely like... Maybe. I think that our relationship has evolved and definitely in a good way. Like, of course we had, we've had we had jobs together in the past, yeah. but let's be honest, that it was nothing really professional. It's not like we had to be professional yeah, around each other. Like, doing YouTube makes me feel like I need to be professional because I need to... Focus, buckle down. Exactly, I need to get, get stuff out. Done. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We have to be creative together. Yeah. So, definitely creates a different dynamic for us. So, I would say, yeah, it changed okay. our relationship. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. For the better, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. It definitely did. I will be honest, like, for a minute there, we went through a little patch, and I remember exactly exactly when it was we were like just getting a little tiffs about everything while we were filming and so we had to kind of take a break and like be like okay let's like think back to the fact that our relationship is more important than anything yeah. and our love for each other is more important than anything i'm referring to like around the time that we made that jail food video i think it was I like last summer remember. yeah i think i do know what you're talking about but i just remember we had a few videos we did where we were just like pissed at each other while we were filming and i was like this is not it it was this one time did a mukbang, an Indian food mukbang. She was in the irritating mood, I was in the irritating oh, yeah. mood, and then her mom and dad was sitting out in the living room just staring at us while we were I recording this video. I forgot about that, and we never uploaded it. We never it uploaded that Because the vibes were so bad. I think we've talked about that before yeah, in one of yeah. our videos. The vibes were just so off in that video, and maybe we needed a video to post because we hadn't posted in a while or mm -hmm. something like that, but nothing was bringing us yeah. to upload this video. Yeah, the vibes definitely weren't there. I'm pretty sure the, the video was deleted, gone. I would never want to watch that again. That was that was awful. <laughs> it was it was awful. It was awkward. It was it was it was a lot. It was a lot. That just shows you guys that we are always gonna bring you like A plus content. Mm -hmm. If we're not good with it, we're not posting it. Brandon ever pass gas around you and you get turned off by him? Absolutely. <laughs> what are you lying? That's an easy one. He be pooping around me all the time. And you don't. I did, that was not the question. It was Diz Brandon. Thank you, next. Do you guys use toys in the bedroom? Next question, who came up with these? This feels too personal. Do you? Sometimes yes. Sometimes Moving yes, on. sometimes no. Depending on how we feel. What's the biggest pet peeve for each other? When Reagan always says my breath smells and it really doesn't. I'm telling you guys, I had, there is something wrong with my sense of smell. Because everything in the sense, stinks to her. In the sense that it's like too strong. Like I can smell everything. So imagine like if you just have a hint of bad breath, you could have one little chunk of onion and I would smell it for like the next three days. It's, it's not a blessing, it's a curse. I do not want to smell everything. Have you guys ever wanted or been open to an open relationship? Not a chance. I not with you. I ain't. Like, like I'm not saying that I would have never been open to it with somebody else, but not with you because I love you. You know what I mean? Choose if I your was, words wise. <laughs> I just mean if I was going to be in an open relationship, it couldn't be with somebody that I had such strong feelings for because like I couldn't share you. But if it was somebody that I was just like, nah, like you're cool and we start dating and it kind of ends up being like that, then whatever. But okay. I couldn't with you. I, it's a big no for me. I'm to the point where in my life, yeah, I'm young, but I have kind of like an old soul. Like I'm an old man at heart. So like it's to the point where I'm like, you're old man. I'm not an old, old man, but like in certain things, in certain ways, I don't act my age like badly, but in certain ways I don't act my age in a good way. Was your first time awkward? No, not at all. It was wonderful. It was wonderful? Yeah. You think so too? Yeah. You think it was awkward? No, no, I didn't say it was awkward. Well, you kind of act surprised. <laughs> do you guys or when do you guys plan on having kids? Reagan is like, I feel like you put this in here with an agenda. <laughs> Reagan is like 1000% like anti when I'm it not. comes to her body changing. And having to push something out it's not just my body changing and that's it's a little misogynistic of you to assume that the reason I'm so timid about having kids is because my body's gonna change like as I grow into an older woman my body's gonna change regardless if I have kids or not personally the things that come with being pregnant sound like hell 
on but, earth but to you, me. And no, you I don't get what you want though. You don't get told no. You get anything you want. You have cravings. The cravings are delivered. Favorite position? Um, missionary for sure. It's tie between missionary and doggy style. I think missionary is just so intimate, or like a little from the side action. I don't know what that's called, but like when you're laying on your side, you know, mm -hmm. you like this. <laughs> Biggest argument you have ever been in. Ooh, this one's juicy. Don't mind, by the way, guys, that noise. The jets on our um, jacuzzi just turned on, so. But this is Wait, the last question, so. Something. There was one time, we're not gonna talk about it, where I got mad for some, some reason of something that happened. I did get mad, because Brandon did something stupid. And it's never happened, that still to these days is bothering. Yeah, well, he did something that I don't particularly believe in. I I just, I'm a strong believer that, that it's not right, if that makes sense. It wasn't like cheating or anything. He wasn't unloyal, but it's just something that I personally, my morals do not agree with, I guess. And I was just upset with him for doing it. I guess I wasn't really that mad. I was just really upset that you made stop, that decision. Stop, 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 okay, okay, stop, okay, okay. stop. I was mad, okay. What else have we argued about that was big? One time where we were arguing about me watching football. Oh yeah. Late night and I went into the car and I fell asleep oh, yeah. in my car. I thought he like left me or something. He was literally out asleep in his freaking car. We're gonna cut the video here because honestly, I'm getting really cold out here and maybe I'm gonna hop in the hot tub because this fire is dying down. We appreciate you guys for tuning in today's video. Don't forget, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also stay tuned for that giveaway. Do not yes. sleep on the giveaway. Yeah, because we're giving away $100 for free. It's so. free. So don't sleep on it. Go follow us on TikTok. Go follow us on Instagram. And make sure you subscribe. And also comment down below. Team, Team R&B. And you guys don't want to miss any of that action. And here goes the dog. So R&B out. Out. He's so... Oh! <laughs> he gets my tongue. <laughs> You got a spider on you. I'm Stop! <laughs> You're not funny.